Hi everybody, BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. It's uh, September 9th and uh, 3.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, I am going to go over the trade that I wanted to, that I said I would make the video from Friday. Now that would be September 6, 2013, the trade that we took in the trading room because a lot of people ask questions about if they should trade a non-farm payroll um, or if they should just stand aside. Well, frankly, I mean, that's a decision you have to ultimately make. But I can tell you that I typically do trade non-farm payroll days uh, because I have uh, created a different strategies that I feel work very well in the non-farm payroll environment. And I'm just going to go over one non-farm uh, payroll type of uh, trade and really this is just analyzing the uh, fundamental data okay as key number one and um, what we do in a, a scenario like this is we wait okay we're not getting in before the uh, non-farm uh, payroll numbers come out we're waiting for them to come out okay but we're ready and we have um, some sort of a mental picture where if the number is here then I'm going to short. If the number is here, then I'm going to go long. Strategy doesn't always work, but that is one way to at least gauge the direction of your trade based on the fundamental number that came out. So anyway, in the room, we have identified certain criteria where if the number came out at, let's just use for example, X, Y, Z, okay, then we were going to go long. And if the number came out X, Y, Z, okay, then we're going to go short. So we have specific criteria that we lay out in the trading room prior to the release of the numbers. Okay, so fundamental criteria is number one. Again, technical criteria as number two. Because let's face it, it's a news-driven trade, so we're going to put a little bit more emphasis on the uh, direction from a fundamental standpoint. So, number came out worse than expected. Now, we knew at that point that we were going to look for a long. Okay, now we had that first pretty big spike on the euro dollar. This is what this is, euro dollar 30 minute chart. And we popped above our long trigger technical level, which was 1.3138. So we knew as long as we got above that level, buy signal was in play now it was just a matter of waiting so we waited for it to come down we ended up entering in this trade with an average of 13135 okay so that first initial spike all right the strategy was to pause wait for the pullback and then we did get in and we ended up making about 35 pips on the trade not bad all right. Now, I personally decided not to hold into the weekend. Uh, some members did, and as a result, we just continued to move higher, um, uh, well over it was about 130 pips higher. So, that was a, a scalp trade that we did on Friday. Once again, fundamental criteria came into play where it was worse than expected. At that point, we um, we're betting on the dollar dropping, therefore the euro dollar moving higher. We waited for the pullback, and then number two, technical criteria did set up for us. We stayed above our 20 period moving average, which was nice, and we just waited. And then as soon as we popped above our next um, overhead resistance which was about 131.71 that's when we went ahead and exited with this spike here this second spike to run some stops to the upside so in a nutshell that's the trade I won't elaborate further I said that I would do a video so I just want to follow through once again this is 9-6-2013 non-farm payroll 30 minute chart euro USD if you'd like to learn more about educating yourself in the uh, aspects of trading, day trading that is, and also swing trading. Check out fxlivedaytrading.com, IMBT. We also have FT trading out of Germany um, for Euro session, and I trade out of the U.S. session, the U.S., uh, rather, uh, United States for U.S. session. Hope to see you. Take care and have a good one.